What's going on guys, Wade here, the Millennial Stone Cleaner. We are out in an incredibly hilly cemetery today. You can tell that it's an older stone. The, the face is, of course, there in the ground, um, but it was just set on lead, which was very traditional means of setting that stone. So we'll get the base leveled, and then we'll get the monument back up on the base. Starting a new project is a moment filled with excitement anticipation, and a little bit of trepidation. Every single historic headstone that I work on has a problem. In fact, that's why I'm here, because there's something that needs to be addressed. Sometimes those problems are minor, easily resolved, quick and simple, and sometimes they're not. Sometimes they take a tremendous amount of work. And sometimes they're neither here nor there, in that they may look complicated, or they may look very simple, but only once we really start examining the stone, and sometimes not until we're elbow deep in the project, do we truly know the scope of what we're dealing with. This granite headstone is no exception. It's old, but it's not obvious at first glance as the inscription is face down in the dirt. This is simply due to a foundation shifting. This incredibly hilly cemetery is prone to having the foundation shift, and when the foundation shifts, we have monuments that fall over. This is a couple, so it's Gustav and Nelly. He died in 23 and she in 12. We know that the first part of our project is simply the foundation. We know that this base, if it is not leveled, this will fall over once again. So the first order of business is not fancy. It's simply leveling the base. We always have to level the base. This is the grave of Gustav and Nelly Eliasson, both born in Langard, Sweden in the 1830s. Nellie's maiden name shows in baptism records and census data as Carl's daughter, which literally translates to Carl's daughter. Her father's name was Carl, and Carl had a last name of Johansson. So I would be really curious to know, for those of you with Swedish ancestry or those of you in Sweden, or maybe just those that know, was that common? to use the first name of the father as part of the daughter's last name? Or was this an exception? The couple was married in 1863 and their first daughter, Emma Augusta, was born later that year. They went on to have four more children, Joanna, Carolina, Oscar, and Ellen. The family immigrated to the United States in 1887, first arriving in New York before moving west to Iowa, where Gus worked as a coal miner. Nellie passed away in 1912. Gus then moved in with his youngest daughter, Ellen, along with her husband and seven children. He passed away in 1923 at the age of 88. <laughs> Sometimes leveling a base is very easy. You just level it, right? With the solid foundation and base in place, it's time to get the die up. That's what we call this part, the die, die on base. We're making small incremental movements. We'll move our tripod, we'll shift it a little bit, inch by inch until we can get this back up and in place. It's important to protect the stone from scraping from one to the next. We don't wanna have any harm done to the stone as we're doing our conservation work. So protection is important. We're simply using old fire hose, cut it up into little pieces. It's very durable. The addition of some hardwood blocks underneath the stone and we can use our chain fall and drop it into place. The hardwood blocks will allow us to 
make fine movements and fine adjustments of the stone. We'll take some measurements on the drop wash, and then we clean out and make sure that everything is extra clean. We wanna make sure that the bond that we're making here is going to last. No dirt, no dirt at all. In each corner. We're going to use our lead wedge to place in the corners, and then we will add our monument setting compound around the outside before trimming it. Two part epoxy. This is what it looks like. It kind of gets little hard pieces in there and most of it's perfectly fine. Ultimately, that's what it's going to do inside this joint and it's going to help provide a moisture barrier and seal things out from the elements, provide a little bit of a stickiness as well. Okay, and then here's the set. Get it up. Block comes out, compound in, but no fingers, and then down. And you'll see that ooze coming out. That's, that's satisfying. Same thing here. Block goes under, block comes out, compound goes in, and then set. Thank you.